He's a famous photojournalist. He plays the musical Saw. And even in his 80s, he's won gold medals for athleticism. So where do we start? We start with the reason we chose to run this story on this date. May 30th is the 55th anniversary of the famous Vanport Flood in North Portland, one of our state's most tragic disasters. Alan DeLay had just started working for the Oregonian. His pictures from that day were sent worldwide. It was 1948 then that I had my first big assignment. It was the Vanport Flood. I got the first pictures back and AP transmitted this one and some others uh, and they went worldwide. It was really eerie because uh, the houses were, were floating through and crash, crunch. Uh, I went out to the edge there and the police and said, you better not stay there very long. I remember getting out and water was up to my armpits and I held my camera and film bag over my head. I got my shots and got the heck out because another big hunk dropped off. That was very scary. As the water kept coming in, I saw this spot right about in here where uh, the, they'd given up and they were just trying to get the people out. Part of Vanport is now the Portland International Raceway. Alan came with us along with the same camera and the same camera bag to the very spot from which he took the pictures. I had my good clothes on like this and my film bag and I had to wait out like this with water up to my armpits and my neck. <laughs> I've waited out. <laughs> I waited that long. <laughs> and I forgot to take my billfold out of my pocket. Ooh, what a mess. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> it was <would> work. <laughs> Not like the little button pushing we have now. Alan's years at the Oregonian weren't all danger and disaster. A lot of it was just plain fun. <laughs> How did you get them to autograph it for you? Oh, well, sometimes we catch them at the rehearsal or at the airport and, or find them at the show and uh, get a free ticket, the press did, and get to go to the show and then afterwards go to the dressing room and give them the prints and uh, ask for an autograph. But the best way was I would make two copies and leave them at the hotel where they stayed and with a note, would you please autograph one for me and keep one and leave it at the desk. It worked like a charm most of the time. And I started my picture taking uh, at uh, 13 with a folding vest pocket 127 camera. I took pictures for my Boy Scout merit badge and earned my merit badge. Alan has been a Boy Scout for 76 years and as you can see he hasn't stopped. They gave him his 75th year pin last year and he is one of 136 Boy Scouts in the world to have reached that milestone. I learned so much and uh, the young men that I associated with were my best buddies and we've been friends all our life and friendships were marvelous and I learned so many skills and then as I grew up uh, the gang of about 12 Eagle Scouts in our troop uh, we decided let's go out and form troops of our own and my theory was let's show the good kids the good time that I had make sure they have a good time mm -hmm. and good memories. This is the dashing young Alan DeLay in Alaska and this is his first dangerous assignment. Danger. Well, I did some other stupid things, all right, taking pictures of leaning out an airplane door and all that and whatnot and climbing water towers and bridge, bridge <laughs> and everything like that. Oh dear, I, I did a few things like that to get my photos, you know, the newsman did. Are you still taking pictures? Um, a little, but not commercially. Uh, at 87, I think I should uh, have a chance to do something else. <laughs> go swimming, go diving. Ah yes, diving. 
I've been in six world meets and uh, it's been exciting. I'm third in uh, Sheffield, England and second in uh, Helsinki, Finland. And then I won uh, the gold uh, in uh, then the games that had Nike as a uh, prime uh, uh, sponsor. I won the gold in the three meter and, uh, and the silver on one meter and platform. And these are wonderful medals. They're big old heavy things. <laughs> They're beautiful. I'm sure you get asked this all the time, but I have to ask you anyway. Um, how do you do it at your age? How do I do it? Yeah. Um, I eat my shredded wheat. <laughs> no, I'm not a really a, a diehard on uh, foods, but I do try to eat uh, fruits and and the right things and uh, uh, keep active. The Boy Scouts have kept me active, uh, hiking, camping. Uh, my f work as a photographer wasn't behind a desk. I was moving. Remember way back at the beginning of this story when I mentioned Alan's talent for the musical Saw? He hasn't been playing it for as long as he's been a scout. It's only been 71 years. My um, Saw, I found fit a gun, gun case, a rifle case, and so I bought this and now go down the street, I carry my weapon, my gun, but whoops, it's a Saw. This is my favorite Saw that is imported from Sweden. They call it the Sandvik Stradivarius. <laughs> Playing it all these years. <laughs> That's what happens to my thumb. <laughs> See the difference? <laughs> it gets bent out of shape. Never does straighten up the same. The low notes are down here in a wider band, and the high notes are up here in a narrower band up there. If I make a, a sound here, my finger stops the vibrations. And it stops down there. So the vibrations are in those areas and you need to stroke it. <laughs> I do this sometimes with the children. I do. What? What? Where'd they go? <laughs> Went off the end. <laughs> I, I clear my throat sometimes because this is my voice as I sing, and my singing song. We could go on and on and on. Alan talked with us for hours, literally. What can you say about Alan Delay except that he's remarkable, apparently indestructible, and shows no signs of stopping, ever.